Hello, my name is Tenuilcat, and I'm going to show you how to set up your own TomeNet server uh, for if you just want to LAN or you want like your own private server, or maybe you just want to play alone, that's cool. Um, I'll also show you some other little things, but uh, let's start by typing TomeNet into Google. Uh, I'll show you the main site pretty briefly. Uh, we got the news, got about. They do have a little getting started guide for if you're just playing. My one member is the guide, that helps a lot. Uh, it does have a download section, but you can't get the server from the main site for some reason. Uh, screenshots, all that good stuff. We want to go to links over here. And uh, this is one of the developer's websites here. Uh, you go to his download section, or hers. And uh, the one we want to get the client here, the one we want is the 4.4.7 client for Windows or Linux. It's got Windows and Linux. Uh, the reason we want the 4.4.7 is because that's the only server build that's available at the time. So uh, you just click uh, click it, it'll start to download immediately. I already have them both. So, uh, oh, another thing you might want to grab is the music and sound pack over here. Uh, the music pack is pretty big, might take a bit longer than anything else. Also, it's password protected for some reason. Don't know why they did that. Password's TomeNet. Alright, so uh, let's get all that stuff started. Go to the downloads. Alright, so I think I already have the server unpacked, so let's just extract the uh, client. Put it wherever. I got my own TomeNet folder I'm navigating to. There it is. Alright. And there we go. Show you how to do the sound pack really quick. You do the music pack the exact same way. Oh yes, uh, they did 7-zip I believe. Yes, yeah, 7-zip. So you're going to need either 7-zip or WinRAR to extract this. Uh, I personally prefer WinRAR. I'll put links to both in the description. Alright, so for the sound and music packs, you want to go to the client, get into the lib, and click the extra folder there, and just say uh, yes to all if it asks to uh, overwrite anything. Alright, so we got the server and the client all set up. We got sound. Let's start up the server. Alright, so just uh, double click server, exe right here. Run. <laughs> Alright, minimize that. Get out of there. Let's go to the client now. Alright. Alright, just press the shift Q there. It'll get you so you can enter your own IP address. But uh, since you're the one hosting right here, you can just type local host should connect right up. Now uh, about the servers, the first account that is created on the server will become the admin. So just create whatever. Since it's the admin, you'll be all powerful. It doesn't really matter what you are. <laughs> Alright. And there we go. So there we go. We got the admin created. Uh, we'll just log out of the admin really quick. So, control X. Restart it up. Alright, the reason I'm doing this is because um, if you have a new account on the server, it needs to be validated by the admin. So, let's just uh, create one here. Alright. I'll just make this quick as well. I think there's a random button. There we go. No, not for this. And there we go. Alright, so I've created the account. I'm going to log out, log back in as the admin. The reason this is important is because uh, you won't be able to drop anything, you won't be able to drop money. Pretty sure you can't do certain things with other players. Alright. 
Oh, I just logged in as the wrong character, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Post. Gillis Admin Poem. There we are. Now all I gotta do is uh, go into the talking mode, which is colon. Type backslash validate. And then type in the account of whoever's playing on your server. And there we are. And that's all I need to do. You'll be ready to start playing.